practice. Mm-hmm. You know, Hakeem and Aaron, we, when we practice, they, they used to playing in the middle. Mm-hmm. So it's just, you know, it gives us an advantage, you know, to make the zone more wider. You know, we practice a lot in the zone. So just giving us another defensive option, to, you know, for teams that have to throw them off and, you know, probably slow teams down. Then we go back to man. So just guard and stuff like that. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I got you. Obviously, the defense wasn't great early, and then we picked up both kind of. You know, what were the attributes to? Um, just energy and effort. You know, guys just buying in. You know, in the beginning, it was just getting a feel. You know, it's our first time playing with our real uniforms on. And, you know, a big time a game. You know, so just getting a feel for everything. And you know, once we okay, all right, we here now. So now it was, it was easier to just to go out and play defense, you know. Question for beyond tonight, just the work that Aaron's put in yeah. over this offseason. Yes, what sort of difference do you see in him from now? Well, I've been playing with Aaron forever, you know, so I think he's just getting comfortable. Mm-hmm. You know, the game's slowing down for him, and, you know, he's just playing at a different pace, you so, know. Do you get the sense, having seen him so much over yeah. here, that it's just simply when he gets that sort of comfort zone, that mm-hmm. his assertiveness? Yeah, exactly. You see it today, and you know, in the beginning of the game, you know, he was playing at his own pace, mm-hmm. yeah. and you know, I think that's what makes him so dangerous. Just his ability to slow the game down, and it slows down for him. Mm-hmm. You know, he got that putback dunk today. I try to get my putback, and I missed it, but he was able to slow it down. And, you know, it's, it's, he, it comes so easy to him. It's so natural for him. So he, he's, he's a talent. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Jackler's Law Group clients are happy clients, and here's why. Our lawyers are experienced, hardworking professionals who fight until you win, and you pay no fees until we do. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or train crash, we meet you where you are and when you can. If you've been in a crash, don't wait. Call the big dogs now. Let us handle the insurance company so you can focus on healing, and you'll see why we were named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. Speaking of natural, you really were shooting that three-point ball. When did that become a natural feeling? Um, I put a lot of work in over the last two years. You know, coming into a freshman, I knew I would probably have to help the team, you know, stretching the floor out. And, uh, you know, just constant reps every day, you know, shooting every day, you know. Uh, so it wasn't a breakthrough moment, it was just gradual? Yeah, just gradual. You know, last year I was just trying to find something just to where I could help the team. You know, anything I could do to help the team and just, I think shooting just became a niche, you know. Um, Whatever I could do to help the team, you know, that's kind of my thing. You know, whether it's shooting, playing defense, you know, anything I could do to help the team win, that's what I'll do. In terms of sticks, it looked like he was a lot, he was more engaged the second half, and he yeah. showed at both ends. So mm-hmm. he was running the floor hard, he was swatting a few shots. Mm-hmm. Do, do you, can you tell when he sort of, when, you know, when the motor starts running with him? And He's a gamer. That's one thing I can say about sticks, you know. Once that once them lights come on, that, that ball in the air, he's ready to go. No matter who we playing, you know. And you know, second half we came out and he's the same sticks. He's always gonna be sticks, you know. Just that dominant force on both ends of the floor. You know, he showed it second half where, like you said, both ends of the floor he was dominant. So just happy to see him, you know, just being sticks. What I'm that's what I'm used to him being dominant. So it was okay. You're talking about this in the fall. Or you're talking about, I mean, because uh-huh. even he said last year, you know, there were times where he wasn't, uh-huh. um, you know, he, he, you know, was sort of up and down. Yeah. So, I mean, the, what we saw in the second half uh-huh. is what everybody's talking about, what he's been doing in practice and uh-huh. secret scrimmage. Is that, uh-huh. I mean. I mean, I see it every day, so okay. I'm used to it. You okay. know, it might be new to y'all, but I, I practice and play with him every day. Mm-hmm. So, you know, um, it's just second nature to me now. Mm-hmm. What are you seeing in the development of the game? Um, they getting comfortable. Dante Scott, you can see he played well today. And, you know, I kind of watch the freshmen, you know, grow, you know, from high school players to college players. And they all just getting comfortable. Makai and Mikhail, they helped us out a ton, you know, more than I thought they would. And, you know, it's just them coming in and being comfortable and, you know, us showing them the ropes. But, you know, the older guys, I think, us sophomores and, you know, everybody on the team, you know, we're so willing to help, you know, in drills and practice. We just bring everybody along and make sure they're not missing the beat, 
and I think that's helping them be more comfortable and stuff.